Well, now, Pete, uh, it's official. The U.S. economy is slowing down. Uh, quite a bit, yeah. The, uh, it's actually bleak, according to the Federal Reserve, at least compared to, like, January, the last beige book. The U.S. Federal Reserve uh, reports that the economy slowed considerably since the start of this year. In its most recent beige book of economic activity, the Fed says that housing, manufacturing, and retail activity all are running out of steam, and inflation is increasing. The news helped drive the dollar to record lows against the euro at one point today. Added to that, prices of energy and raw materials are on a worrying upward trend. Although the beige book was much more downbeat than it was in January, the Fed held back from calling the current slowdown an outright recession. And for more on this, let's go down to the floor of the Stock Exchange in New York, where our DWTV correspondent, Jens Cordy, is uh, standing by. Jens, we see uh, manufacturing activity is slowing down. Housing is bad. Uh, the credit is uh, still pretty uh, tight in the U.S. And, of course, retailing is not being uh, uh, adding up to what it's supposed to be. Is there anything optimistic in the Fed's beige book? Well, at least the Fed didn't talk about uh, a recession yet, so maybe that's some uh, positive uh, news. Uh, but in general, there are not that many chilling details um, in that uh, latest uh, uh, report. And on top of it, uh, you mentioned energy prices. Oil prices are skyrocketing um, on Wednesday's uh, trading. The price per uh, gallon, um, uh, the, the, the price per barrel, uh, sorry, crude oil, rises more than 4% to new all-time um, highs. So it doesn't look too bright uh, right now if you look um, at the U.S. economy. So obviously this puts a great deal of pressure on the Federal Reserve to again lower key U.S. short-term interest rates, right? Wall Street um, expects another rate cut by uh, probably uh, a half a percentage point at the next meeting in two weeks. But it is going to be uh, a tricky decision because if the, uh, the rates are going uh, to, to go uh, further down as expected, that would put even more pressure um, on the greenback. Um, and um, the, what we see on the energy markets is uh, the high oil prices. Part of the reason is the weak um, uh, U.S. dollar. So it is going to be a very very tough decision for uh, Fed uh, Chairman uh, Ben Bernanke uh, in about two weeks. And by the way, the pressure or the heat is on, on Bernanke um, himself. Some people doubt uh, that he uh, really uh, is uh, the right guy um, at this moment. So we might have a lack of confidence here on Wall Street. Maybe one chilling news at the end, um, uh, stocks don't fall that much. So that's maybe also uh, some positive news here on Wall Street. Interesting indeed. Jens Korda on the New York Stock Exchange. Jens, we thank you very much for that update. And as Jens pointed out, U.S. stocks remain under a bit of uh, pressure on the Fed's uh, negative outlook on the U.S. economy. But the Dow, however, is nearly unchanged at this hour. It is at 12,214. Here in Europe, the investors snapped a five-day losing spree today on optimism that the troubled U.S. bond insurer Ambac Financial would find capital to keep it alive. That did not turn out to be the case after the markets closed. The DAX uh, finished 2% higher. The Euro stocks 50 index of leading Eurozone blue chips finished the day up by about the same margin and on the currency markets the euro is trading for $1.5258